All right, folks, you've been seeing and hearing our next guest uh, for the entire show, but you have such an interesting backstory. She traded in her career as a geologist to pursue her true passion, which is singing. I love that. Now we have jazz vocalist Raquel Cepeda joining us now. And Raquel, what, you're from Venezuela? Yes, I am from Venezuela, originally. And that explains some of the <laughs> sass. <Yes. laughs> and, and what was it that, you know, prompted you to just leave your career behind? That's not an easy decision to make. It is not at all. Um, I was working as a geologist all my life, but I also had uh, my music career on the side. And then it started taking over, and I started feeling that if I really wanted to make it happen, I really needed to dedicate my full time to it. And um, with the uh, oil crashes and all that stuff coming up, it came the right opportunity for me to do it. And uh, I am really happy that this happened. I, ha I had been planning it for several years, and eventually I got the opportunity to make it happen. What draws you to jazz music? Always. Uh, uh, I it initially started when I listened for the first time Ella Fitzgerald's on the radio, yeah. and uh, I, I was completely in love with her voice, and I said, this is kind of something like I see myself doing. And you have a weekly standing performance gig, right, I on do, Thursdays? yes. On Thursdays, it's in West Houston at Mascalzoni. It's an Italian restaurant on the west side of town. On uh, It's kind of Kirkwood and uh, Westheimer. Very yes. cool. And, but in addition to that weekly gig, you also are performing all over the city with your band. Yes, yes, yes. We do have lots of invitations for different events. I also do my own concerts. Um, I have a Valentine's concert coming up on February 14 of 2018. It's, it's one of the biggest productions that I do, and it's going to be at Match Theater. Well, you've got a quartet, so we got to talk about who else is in the quartet. Absolutely. Yes, let me introduce you to them. Yeah. So Brandon Nace is on bass, and he is an amazing bass player. He's been uh, bringing incredible music to Houston for a long time. Uh, he has uh, recorded many CDs. He's gone to many festivals. Um, he is one of the best players here in town. Come on, you got to give me a couple of notes. All right, I'm going to move on over to the drummer. Who do we have here? I I'm have step uh, over here with you, Raquel. Delton Lee. He's also one of the top drummers in Houston, and uh, he is uh, he's originally from here. And uh, yeah, he is he's one of the most uh, sicked out drummers in town. You got to give you a beat. And a very cool style, by the way. I love that. Okay, and last, and last, last but, not, but not least on keyboard. Yes, and we have... Uh, um, there we go. <laughs> Henry Dara, he is our pianist, and he is a PhD in music from the University of Houston. He um, has recorded two CDs, and uh, he is fantastic. He's an arranger, composer, he plays trombone. You gotta give us a few he notes. Is a, he's a vocalist. <laughs> <laughs> he's we a jokester that. as well. <laughs> well. Raquel, thank you so much, uh, and we are gonna have another song in just a moment. By the thank way, you. Wednesday on Houston Life uh, Retro Week continues with a look back at the 70s from home decor to disco and a whole lot more we are diving into this very groovy decade but now as we promised the look Raquel Zapeta Jazz Quartet is gonna perform don't get around much anymore take it away take it away miss the Saturday jazz her they crowded the floor the club got as far as the door they'd have asked me about you don't get around the chill well darling I guess my mind's more at ease but nevertheless was there a memory has been invited on day but what for? It's awfully different without you. Don't get around the chain.
what for?